Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Couple channel. I'm Wendy and here is my non-spoiler review for Scream 6. Scream 6 stars Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega, Jasmine Savoy Brown, Mason Gooding, Jack Champion, and Courtney Cox. The survivors of the Ghostface murders leave Woodsboro behind for a fresh start in New York City. But they soon find themselves in a fight for their lives again when a new killer embarks. Scream 6. Uh, this franchise, man, I was just thinking back to the very first time I saw Scream in theaters, which like, technically I probably shouldn't have gotten a ticket into that theater, but somehow I saw it in theaters and I remember how much it scared me. And just to kind of see how this franchise, how far it has come, is really incredible. And with the sixth film, as I was sitting in the theaters, this film is at, I think, just a little over two hours. I just had a really big smile on my face the whole time. It gave me all the feels of when I watched the first Scream and it was just a good time. The franchise, I feel like it's evolved, evolved a little bit. I feel like it's become a little bit more self-aware. It, it's a little meta, especially with, you know, it within the movie, when they talk about the movie franchise, Stab. So I kind of, you, you know, initially I didn't love that when they first introduced it. And now I feel like I embrace it. With the characters, we have the uh, cast, some of the cast from the previous film, obviously starring in this one. And I just love their chemistry. I love their dynamic. I enjoy Scream 5 a lot, but I actually think I enjoyed this one a lot more. I remember the kill count was pretty high for 5. And I feel like for the kills and the, the gore and all of that, I feel like they really dialed it up even more in this one. I want to say I read in an interview that it was Jenna Ortega that mentioned that this is the goriest uh, scream yet. And I feel like it really is. I feel like I have to keep this a little short because I really don't want to get into, you know, spoiler territory. But I will say with... Especially with this franchise, you, I mean, with any sort of slasher film, you immediately try to guess who is the killer. Is it somebody we have already seen? Is it copycat someone new? And if you've seen the trailers, I'm sure in your head is spinning like, it couldn't possibly be this person, right? But then you also have your list of certain people who are in the cast and so you're like it could be them but what is the connection so I think as a part of like the fun thing to do as we watch the screen movie is to figure out who is Ghostface and are they connected somehow are they new I did feel like I figured that out pretty quickly in this film uh, but that didn't take away from my enjoyment of this movie plus there were even more added twists to what I had predicted that I was like, okay, I didn't really see that coming. So that is really cool. I just, I really enjoy the cast. I think, I feel like Melissa and who plays Sam and uh, Tara played by Jenna Ortega, they're just a really fun duel to watch um, as, as well as Mindy and Chad. So I am really happy that we have it. Like Mindy probably is my favorite character, like especially in this movie, I feel like she shined a lot so I feel like I want like a Mindy in real life. I will also mention this is not really a bad thing but I just want to mention it. Uh, one, you probably should be watching the previous Scream films uh, before you watch this one. At the very least, if you didn't watch one, which by the way you totally should, but if you feel like you're brand new to this and everybody's talking about it and you want to go see it, do yourself the favor and at the very least watch Scream 5 just so you ha you're a little bit more aware of the characters and their history and their tie and how it all kind of connects to the other Scream films. They do, uh, Sam, like there is a little dialogue or a monologue where she does give a little bit of like exposition, but you need so much more than that to fully comprehend the characters and their story. So first of all, do yourself the favor and watch Scream at least five before you go and see this one. And the second one, and I don't know if it's just because now we're in the sixth film, but there are jump scares in this, but none of them really got me. I actually never felt frightened at all in this film, which is like a very, very different than how I felt when, I mean, I was much younger, but when I was watching the first Scream, I was like edge of my seat trying to hide behind my hands. And this one, I just sat there, smiled, 
and enjoyed it and I had a really good time with it. So Scream 6, it's two hours of non-stop action and fun. It is bloodier. There is more kill counts. There is a lot of especially if you watch it when you watch it with the audience I think it amps up your experience I had a really good time with Scream 6 and my rating for the movie is check it out let me know your thoughts on Scream 6 when you see it in theaters in the comment section below thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video